My turn to talk to you. <clears throat> Officer Jackson said you were pretty stubborn and didn't want to talk, but you know, I'm sure we can fix that. How about I get your name? I already talked to the other officers for hours. You should already know. Steven. Gotcha. Now I can ask the harder questions. What were you doing at the old Parker house on the night of May 25th? A group of us got bored and decided to sneak into the Parker house. None of us really believed in all the stuff about the unexplained. We were there for like, maybe an hour, when we heard this weird sound coming from the basement. So we went to investigate. When we got down there, the door was ajar, and when we opened it the rest of the way, there was this thing on the stairs. Grotesque. And it looked like it was eating raw meat. I didn't mention that to any of the other officers. Please, uh, describe this grotesque thing. Yeah, I... I guess I forgot to mention. This thing, it's... Its body was disproportionate and really pale. Its hair was long and stringy. And the weirdest thing... Its face... Looked a lot like Aiden's. I know that sounds crazy. A bit, but please continue. The thing on the stairs, it scrambled up, and it grabbed Aiden and Kami's feet and threw him down the stairs. I ran, but I fell, and Ray jumped in between us to defend me. I heard his neck snap as I stood up, but I didn't look back. I just threw the door shut, and I hit my hand. You know, it's interesting. I got to look at the house after they came and picked you up. A lot of dead bodies in that basement. But one in particular. Its face seemed to have been burnt off. Can't get a positive ID. Now tell me, how long have you been in our little town of Willowhane? Didn't realize your type had made it this far. We've always been here. Hey, how did the interrogation go? Jackson said the suspect was pretty tough to talk to? Uh, the interrogation's over. They were innocent. 